Welcome to Learning Time. I'm glad you joined us today. And I've got a special helper. Tristan, thanks for helping us. You're welcome. Hey, I've got a special piece of equipment right here. And uh, Tristan, what does that say? Danger, high voltage. It says danger, high voltage. Keep fingers away. Keep your fingers <laughs> away from me. You know why? Why? Because it, there's going to be a lot of electricity. Now, this happens to be a very special piece of equipment called a Jacob's Ladder. Isn't that an interesting word or term? Mm -hmm. Now, would you like to see me demonstrate it? Yes. Well, it's all plugged in and all I have to do is just kind of flip this little switch right here. Now, we're not going to touch it, are we? Nope. No, because it's dangerous. Here we go. Let's try it. Oh, do you see that? What is that? Whoa. Whoa. What does that look like, Tristan? Lightning. Looks like lightning to me. You know what? That is electricity. And this is our Jacob's Ladder. Is that dangerous? Yeah. You know, I think it's dangerous. Do you think it's hot? Yeah. It kind of looks like a little flame up there, doesn't it? Whoa, look at there. And it starts, a, it starts a little fire. Now, that is an interesting term, Jacob's Ladder. Mm -hmm. Now, that is high voltage. That's 15,000 volts and about 30 milliamps. And I wouldn't want to touch that. It would hurt us, right? Now, can you hear that? Can you hear the sound, Tristan, mm -hmm. when it goes up? Listen to that. Whoa! And it almost reminds me of lightning, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever been outside in a lightning storm? Yes, I have. You have? And you like to look at lightning. Somebody mm -hmm. told me that. That's interesting. But you were telling me a story about your family. Could you share that with everybody? Um, when I was little, me and my mom, she had to take me to my babysitters, and all of a sudden, she stepped in a puddle and lightning struck her. Can you imagine? What happened to her? Was she okay? Yeah. Did she get shocked? Mm -hmm. Should you be outside in storms? No. No, because something bad might happen to you. Now let's turn this on again. And we're going to concentrate on that sound, aren't we? Here we go. Can you hear that? Yes. Now, can you hear lightning? Yes. Yeah. Because lightning crashes through the air, can't we? And we can hear it and we call that thunder, right? Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't be outside. We should be inside and we want to be very safe. Well, sound uh, is interesting. If, it, if the air didn't carry sound, we'd never hear the lightning. All we would do is to, what, see the flash, wouldn't we? Now, you know how we can tell if lightning is far away from us or closer to us? You know how we can tell? Mm -hmm. How can we tell? Well, my mom told me once thunder rolls, then you count the seconds till lightning strikes. That's right, you count the seconds. So if you see the flash, psh, the flash, what you do is you count the seconds, just like Tristan said, and you count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. If you get to 5,000, do you know how far the lightning's away from you? About one mile. Isn't that interesting? Because sound travels about 1,100 feet per second. That's interesting, isn't it? Well, Let's get back to our little Jacob's Ladder again. We're going to make it go again. Watch that little arc, and it's coming up, and we're ionizing the air when that happens. Come on up. Come on, come on, come on. All the way up to the top. You know, that reminds me of something, Tristan. Hmm. You know that Jacob, you know Jacob in the Bible? Yeah. That's a neat story, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, he was running away from home and running away from his brother because he kind of cheated him a little bit, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And God gave him a wonderful dream. You remember the dream in the Bible about Jacob's Ladder? Yeah. Well, that's why this is called a Jacob's Ladder, because that little arc, it starts at the bottom like uh, we start climbing a ladder at the bottom, mm -hmm. and we go rung after rung, and we get higher and higher up on the ladder. You know what that, that dream was all about? Well, it was God trying to tell Jacob that God was going to be with him, and not to worry so much, because Jacob had a lot to worry about, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, his brother was after him, and he was kind of in trouble, that's for sure. Well, God's always with you and I as well. And when we learn more about science, we, more, we learn more about our Creator, God. 